Alright, I'll see you to hit you, my friends. Woo! Hi, Miss Rebelin! Look at her in all that glory. My Rhode Island Red. Slim is so scared of her. Huh, Reba? That's right. Don't mess with her. Huh, Reba? All right. Let me do a quick pause. I forgot to put on my chickening boots. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, Slim, you going to come outside? No? All right. Bye, Slim. Bye, Slim. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so we got something for the girls when they dust bathing. Hi, huh, Miss Reba. Hi, Fish. Hi, Goldie. Oh, Mama's little princess. She's supposed to look like that. She's a turkin. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah, wow, this has been... Depleted for a little bit. I got peat moss for the girls so they can bathe. Oops, sorry guys. I'm trying to fix something at the same time. Okay. Ain't that right? Slim has caught a few birds over there, <laughs> as you can see. Hi, Miss Rebellion. She's like, put it in already, Ma. Put it in. All right, hold on. This thing is very, very heavy. Hold on. That is what we're putting inside for them to dust bathe. Huh, girls? Oh, we're so excited. We're just waiting. No, Slim. You don't eat chicken feed. Come on. Boy, they just know. You just know what this is, huh, girls? All right. Let's hurry up and get her done, shall we? Yeah? Look at her. Hurry up. Hurry up, Mom. Hurry up. Hurry up. All right. All right, let's get that chicken in there. Oh, they're eyeballing it. They know. Ooh. Get nice peat moss. Very important for the girls to be able to dust bathe. Helps keep the lice and mites away. Yeah, girls? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me get this done for them. They're impatiently waiting. Yeah, there we go. All right, girls. Get in there. Let me get out of your way. They've got one more little area in their coop that I'll put some down. Yeah, go get it, chicken. There you go, pretty girl. It's my buff Orpington. Fish over here is my Australorp. Fish! Yeah! And they're very smart. They know their own names. This is Dixie. She's a barnyard mix. She's definitely got Bantam. Some, I think, uh, Isa Brown. Probably something else. Any of you have a chicken that looks like her, let me know what yours is. And of course, my turkin. Hey, be nice, bully. Bully. Come on, Goldie, get in there. So what do you think, chicken? Huh? Did I do a good job? Huh? Did I do a good job? Oh, you guys are checking for bugs? Okay, well, that's good, too. That's good too, nothing wrong with that, huh, baby girl? But come on, get in there, come on. You've been waiting, you've been waiting. I finally got it done for you, girls, there we go. There goes Goldie. She's checking it out before she gets kicked out. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Girls are happy. They're so cute. I just love making my girls happy. Huh, girls? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on.
on, Dixie. Dix Dixie's never experienced this at my house. As you guys know, she was orphaned. Her and her brother Slim. I took them both in. Her area, yeah, she didn't have much. Yeah, get in there. What's up, chicken butt? <laughs> oh, they've got the cutest little tushies. Cutest little tushies. All right. All right. All right, that was a success. All right. You girls are happy. And my poor little babies, they didn't get a chance to experience this yet either, my Easter eggers. This will be their first time too. Because they're my youngest ones. All right, so let's go to the other side. Yeah, so far this is still looking nice. I mean, it's coming up a little bit, but that's okay. Anyways, in here, let's clean it out first, shall we? The wind blows anything back here. Oh, sorry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ugh. All right. The girls were following the bag, <laughs> knowing that I was going to get this area too. Because in the mornings, when I take a, too long to get outside, at least they can start their dust bathing while they're waiting for me to open up so they can come out and eat their breakfast. Because I put them to bed. We have had uh, hawks and owls. Hawks aren't that big of a problem because they're smaller than my girls. And frankly, I think the hawks are scared of my Australorp fish because she's black, so she looks like a, like a crow. And, huh, oh, baby girl. Crows beat up hawks. So, she looks like a very well taken care of crow. <laughs> so, hawks have not been my issue. But the owls, unfortunately, got my got my Tilly girl, one of my little turkin, my little black turkin, because owls, they don't care what color your feathers are. You know, if you're moving, you're food. That's how, that's how owls roll. So, um, it wasn't in my yard. She actually climbed one of the pellet boards and jumped over the fence, and then she couldn't get back in. And her crying, crying, crying brought the owls in. And I came home from after work and I, I always do a head count and I couldn't find Tilly and I'm, and I'm screaming and I'm yelling. I'm like, Tilly, Tilly, where are you, Tilly? And then I even got my car and I drove around and I went in the back alley too, but by then it was too late. They already found her. And I saw them fly up to uh, Sanford and Sons palm tree right there. And I just knew they, they got her. <sighs> it was very sad. I mean, you know shit happens but damn that that was what two years ago and it still shakes me to the core just thinking what happened to my poor little tilly girl so i moved that pallet board out of the way i'm like you know what she was she was too smart for her own good and her her uh curiosity was her demise but anyways you gotta be one step ahead of these girls sometimes guys you don't realize how smart chickens are. I mean, they got their dumb moments, but they're actually really smart. They can uh, they can identify like over a hundred faces and they know each other's names when you call it. And they know a lot of human words, you know, or English words or whatever, whatever culture you're in, when you sh keep saying those words over and over again and they understand when you say a word, what you're talking about, they memorize it. It's just fascinating. And of course, as you guys know, they have their own language too. They got their different clucks and their coos, which all mean different things. Hi, fish. And fish, she sounds like a little trumpet. She's so cute. Yeah. Of course, she's being shy. She won't talk on camera. Huh, baby girl? But I got this ready for you girls. So that way you guys can dust bathe when you wait for mommy. 
because it's too cold in the morning for me to come out and unlock the the door for you <laughs> all right so i raked all this crap over here i gotta get a little um which I'm gonna call it. I forgot my little scooper thing to pick that up and throw that away. <gasps> I used almost the whole bag, but I got enough to, you know, top it off for next time. So we're gonna put this away. Yeah, girls? We're gonna put this away, close it up. Yeah, baby girl. Yeah, I had four turkins at one time. Two little blonde ones and two little black ones. And then the the little blonde one died within a few days. She started having pasty butt. And that's tough when babies have pasty butt. I, I did the, you know, wipe their tissue with the wet, wet, wet rag. And give her, you know, extra electrolytes and stuff. But, you know, she still passed. And, but that's, the, you know, I only had them for like three days and she passed. So then I was down to three. And then when they got bigger, uh, Tilly, like I said, got eaten, got taken by an owl. And then um, the other one, yes, hi babies. They're just so fascinating. I could just watch them all day. They're so crack me up. And Wardo, um, she, I don't know what happened. I mean, she was attacked by a dog, but she survived. Her and Reba were both attacked by this uh, Jack Russell dog that was orphaned. And uh, I tried to take him in and feed him, but he was crazy wild. And then he got into the backyard and attacked my girls. So we called the, uh, the dog catchers and they got him. <sighs> but Reba survived and so did Eduardo. Eduardo survived. Uh, no problem. Bless you. But then later on, and Wardo got sick with something and just went really fast. Like, really fast. It was shocking. But, you know, chickens, because they are prey, they hide their illnesses very, very well. By the time you realize that something is up, something's wrong, something's not right, it's already too late. I would say 75%, maybe 85%, it's too late because they just, like I said, they just hide their sicknesses really, really well. Okay, for those of you, this might be the first video you're seeing. <laughs> Don't mind that. It still works. It's a great cover. I have new ones. I buy these beach umbrellas every year. I buy two to four every year <laughs> because that happens. Why? Because I'm in Arizona and the sun. <laughs> eats everything, dries everything up and destroys it. And then I just boop. And then with the wind, my area is super windy. Like it's not right now, but it gets really, really windy. Um, so this is just from the wind tearing because it did not have these tears. It covered over here perfectly. It was a nice shade because as you guys know, I'm trying to say that, well, I have a cooler. Well, see, I have this garden shade on this side because the sun beams in. I did the palms to cover. These are more palette boards. And this is my Kula Rose shade. I got this weird funky little tree, volunteer tree, that drew that grew on its own. I don't know what the heck it is. I do want to cut it down when I am ready to put a solid shade, you know, to make like a patio cover over there. Uh, that's what I want to do. Hi, Smokey. And this is my other little rescue, huh? Yeah, all your siblings are feral. But he was all gray, and I just thought it was so pretty. You're so handsome. So he goes in and out. I like to keep him inside, but he likes to go out. And he's caught rats and birds. And he doesn't bother my girls. So we leave him be. Yeah, girls, we leave him be. And like I said, I've got a lot of projects I want to do in this backyard. A lot of projects. I did not finish to get my garlic ready guys but I am starting to I'm just trying to figure out how I can put this over but be able to have access to open and close open and close without spending a fortune I don't want to spend a lot because I'd rather focus the monies on the new property but <sighs> I need to grow something so this is going to be for the garlic I have my Oyas to help water the garlic 
and during the winter time you don't need to super water it's not like this hot summer heat so it's not that big of a deal um, my girls have been de-weeding for me thank you this one is gonna be next I'm thinking I might want to plant chard and lettuce in this one but I'm definitely doing garlic snap peas are really good to do or sugar peas excuse me sugar peas um, hmm I'll have to look to see if they're good companions if I do sugar peas I can do it up against this this archway with lettuce I'm gonna have to check that out and see but yeah those grow really well in the winter too so um, I'm planting late because as of for you that follow me you know we had our wedding in the in October so we had that going on and then my job we moved offices and then Thanksgiving and then boom Christmas <laughs> it was just it was just too crazy it was just too much going on and then we were trying to see if we could get our property that did not come into fruition yet it just was not meant to be in 2023 with the wedding going on we just had too much going on so we stopped looking for houses we will start up again later but check out my jalapenos guys so I'm trying to get it without Look how big my jalapenos are. It's December. It is the last two days of December, guys. And I had another one that I saw from far away. And of course, now that I'm up close, I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Look at this. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Look how big this one was. Oh, starting to get a little soft because look, it broke off. Hello, that would have been wasted. Well, no, I would have saved the seeds for it. All right, we got one jalapeno. Don't know what to do with just one, but I can figure out something. Yeah, abundance, woohoo. All right, so you girls keep doing your weeding, but this is why I'm gonna cover this because my door, even when I close it, they can get through anything, these girls. I have it all fenced up, all fenced up, and they can still get in. This little rickety door that I made, it can kind of close a little bit, but if I'm rushing and I forget one day and I forget to close that, all my hard work is going to shit because they will destroy it in five minutes. Huh, girls? Hi, Reba. <sighs> all right, so anyways, just wanted to show you guys that real quickly of doing the uh, dust bathing. So make sure your chickens have an area that they can dust bathe. I wanted something simple. These little blocks I got at Lowe's and then they cut the wood for me. That way you just put the wood, 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 wood. That way I don't have to deal with nails and hammers. None of that stuff. Easy peasy. That's how I like to roll. And they loved it. Girls are taking a break because they're just following me. You girls are following me because you think I got some goodies that I'm hiding from you. I'm not hiding anything, I promise. All right, guys, you be safe if you're doing your pop pop fireworks. Remember, like I say, make sure you have a bucket of water. Keep your water hose ready because you never know. Maybe you're super careful, but your neighbors are negligent. Okay, I'm just saying, be careful. All right, and... Oh, we'll catch you on the next video. Oh, I'm, I'm tired. Oh.